Today we're gonna to talk about the Ring Mom Party opportunity. And I would be your upline, your Ring Mom Party hostess upline, AKA the Ring Fairy. And if you haven't already checked out my um, lives, go ahead and find one on my page. Check it out, absolutely super fun, right? So you guys already kind of know about what Ring Bomb Party is and you're super stoked and super excited to find out more about Ring Bomb Party and what it all entails, right? Hey there, cats and kittens. Welcome. My name is Alonda Carter and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create anti-MLM videos and I also dip my toes into true crime from time to time. But when you think about it, is it multi-level marketing criminal? Because of all the Ring Bomb Party distributors who have proved to be ever so classy with their hate comments on my first Ring Bomb video, I decided to create a second one. And by the way, for those of you who are with Ring Bomb Party and want to come over here and come at me because I'm not showing my face, you do realize there is no written rule that you have to show your face when you create a video for YouTube, right? There's plenty of creators who never show their face. And if you take the time to check my other videos, you'll see I'm not hiding. I'm just choosing not to be on camera right now because I don't have a teleprompter and I want to avoid having a bazillion jump cuts. So I'm choosing to do voiceover because it takes me far less time to film and edit. It still takes a lot of time, but you know, Literally, I can't remember all of my script without looking at it forever in a day while I'm on camera and hence all the jump cuts. So I choose to do voiceover so I can just get through it, you know, faster. So let go ahead and just move on with your hate comments about that. I mean, come on, be a little bit more original at least. Today we are going to review some comments of some unsatisfied customers. I'm an anti-MLM channel. I'm here to warn people about the perils of this business structure and how it operates. That's what I do. If you want to come at me because I'm not including glowing comments, then you're missing the point of the theme of this channel. The contents of this video is based on my research experience and opinions. It's intended for entertainment purposes. You might say that I do side eye the MLM industry. Anyone I mentioned in this video is a public figure or their information is readily available on the internet. All you gotta do is Google. Please do not send any hate to any individuals mentioned or anybody participating in this industry or to the company that we're discussing, which is Ring Bomb Party. As always, Please do your own research and please be kind to each other in the comment section and be kind to me as well. I am critiquing an industry that I find problematic and those who create MLM companies and others that create, you know, different things to help you be quote successful in multi-level marketing. Now let's see what else this lady who happens to be a ring bomb distributor, see what she has to say about the amazing opportunity. And then we're going to check out some of those complaints about these lovely rings. First things first, you get two of these in your kit. Super duper, mine's kind of crunchy because I've been using it, but you get two of these in your kit so that you can go ahead and get started. By the way, it's $99 to join Ring Bomb Party. So it's only $99 to join, but I'm doing an incentive right now. If you start and you join my team, I will pay half of your enrollment fee after you purchase your first 350 PV of inventory. Cause you gotta have inventory to get started, right? You can't have a party without inventory. So when you purchase your initial inventory, I will pay half of your enrollment fee. Uh, you, have to, you have two weeks to do that. So I'm giving you 14 days to purchase your first initial inventory of 350 PV. And then once you do that, you send me a screenshot of your back office, letting me know that you place your order and it'll show me. And then I will reimburse you the $50. It's no sweat off my back. I have absolutely no problem doing it. Cause I know you're going to be super excited, stoked and committed to doing this ring mom party, right? You love to party. So that's why you're here. So towels, we get a cute little polisher. So this is a ring polisher. So you use this to polish your rings after you take them out of the, you know, water and all that stuff. And you show me, you reveal them, you polish them off before you send them to your customers. So they look super cute and shiny and beautiful. Just the way they looked when you displayed them. You get a ring, you get a ring bomb party sticker. Two ring bomb party pins. And of course you need these, right? Can't display your rings without cute little ring finger 
displayers. So you got to have these in your kit. So you will get these in your kit. But most importantly, two things, three things actually, the most importantly are your tongs. So these are branded ring bomb party tongs so that you can go ahead and get your little ring bombs out of the water because you do not want to grab those. They are hot. <laughs> the water we have to dissolve it in is hot. So you definitely don't want to grab those with your fingers. So you use your handy dandy tongs. And then we also get what's called our ring vision. Okay. So for $99 so far, you guys have seen all the things you're getting. I put the ring vision on so that you can see why we need that. So our ring vision lets us see these beautiful rings, guys. This is so that you can show your customers the beautiful detail in your ring. So you see how important it is to have a ring vision. This ring vision shows all the details in these rings. And these are some of my personal rings that I've gotten from the collection. But it's important for you to have your ring vision because without the ring vision, you can't really see anything. It just looks blurry. So they give you all the tools that you need. And then the save the best for last, right? Most importantly, you're gonna get five ring bombs with your kit. So you get five ring bombs in sizes six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, because those are the sizes that we carry. We don't carry half sizes right now, but they are working on carrying a size five and a size 11. But right now we have six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is what would be called a sleeve, a ring bomb sleeve. So this would come in your inventory. So when you purchase your inventory and 350 PV is about six sleeves, six, six to seven sleeves of ring bombs. Okay. So you would choose the sizes ahead of time that you would like to sell. And then, um, you're going to get these delivered to you. So get, you'll get a few of these packs delivered to you. Once you pay your 350 PV, that is, is something in addition to your $99 kit because your $99 kit only gives you the five pack starter kit of ring bombs sizes six through ten and then all the things that I showed you earlier so that's what's gonna come inside of your kit and then the inventory of 350 will be where you'll get these because you're gonna purchase these after the fact right so you'll have 14 days to do that for me to reimburse you those $50 now you will also get training with myself and my upline you will not go live without having a mock live with myself and my upline so we make sure that you're ready to party we don't want you um you know on facebook live and you're you don't really know what you're supposed to be doing or saying or really don't know how to maneuver and navigate right you got to have some kind of training or onboarding so that's what we're here for so you will learn how to you know your on camera presence how to just be yourself um, and just how to have fun. You know what I mean? How to have fun on camera, right? And make it fun for your audience. Because if you're fun, they're going to want to order from you more, of course. Now, let's talk about the meat and potatoes because I know you guys really want to know the bottom line, right? Like, what is the pay? I know because I'm a bottom line girl and I always want to know, so how much y'all paying me? I'm just saying how much you're paying me and how much does this stuff cost? So it's $99 for you to sign up. We talked about that. Inventory, your starter inventory is 350 PV. So you can get started for your party. So that's about seven sleeves, right? Each one of these sleeves is $67.30. So we sell them retail for $17.95 and we're getting a 25% discount on purchasing them wholesale. So we purchase them wholesale from the company. And so we get a 25% discount off of the retail price. So that's good, guys. So we get that. And this is where we talk about. So on this first one here, Topaz Party Consultant, the 350 PV is right there because that's you starting out. When you start out, that's where you're going to be at because you got the 350 PV, right? That's your inventory, your starter pack. On here... Once you, you know, get to that, you're going to get, um, there is a 25% customer sales profit. We already talked about that because you're doing the 25% wholesale price, right? You get a 25% discount. There's a 10% personal sales commission. So when you reach a certain amount of PV, you get a 10% or sell a uh, personal volume, you get a 10% commission. And then we also have an additional 5% 
commission. If you're like super rock star and you're just like selling like crazy and just doing, oh my God, the most, you're just absolutely amazing at this, then you also get an additional 5% bonus. We've got team bonuses, guys. We have a $500 product credit um, for bonus as well, which is our fast start program. So if you are in our fast start program and you um, rank up within your first four months, because you automatically are in the program once you start in Ring Bomb Party. So if you rank up within your first four months, if you reach a different rank in your first four months other than the first one, then you will be eligible for a fast start bonus or product credit each time. And you can earn up to $500 in this fast start bonus. That's amazing, guys. That's free ring bombs that you didn't have to pay for. That's free money in your pocket. So you definitely want to rank up to those next ranks so that way you can get your free ring bombs, right? So you can earn up to $500 in product credit, which is absolutely amazing. I like free money. I don't know anybody who does not like free money or free you know, products. So yeah, that part. There's also level bonuses. So every time you go up a level and you start to build a team, there's bonuses based off that. So there's level one, level two. Um, there's a level three bonus. There's a level four bonus. And then we get into the generational bonuses. So once you get like way over there and you're like absolutely killing it and you're a rock star, then you start to get into those generational bonuses as you build a team. Okay. So just wanted to give you guys a quick little, you know, just a quick little intro into that and the business opportunity. It's absolutely amazing. Like I said, you know, we are purchasing everything 25% off. And then um, that's basically um, absolutely amazing because most places don't do that. So you're getting a great compensation plan. It's actually, actually one of the best compensation plans um, that's out there right now, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of companies don't give compensation plans like that. You know, 25% is a lot. And then plus the 10% personal um, commission, that's a good commission in addition to that 25%. So I'm just saying, it's a really good compensation plan. You get paid lots and lots and lots of money um, and you get paid to have fun, basically. You're having fun while you're getting paid all this money. So who doesn't want to do that? I do. Um, but just wanted to, again, reiterate the... Um, incentive that I'm having right now. If you decide that you want to join my team, which I hope you will, would love to see you um, and meet with you on a Facebook chat um, or FaceTime and talk about, you know, um, just getting started. It's absolutely amazing. I have so much fun when I do it. Um, before you um, get started and, and, you know, like I said, if you're really serious about this, just know that I'm doing this $50 um, reimbursement incentive only for the next five days. So you have five days to decide if this is what you want to do. And if you do decide that this is what you want to do, then again, you will pay your $99 to sign up. So you can go to my website, which is bit.ly, The Ring Fairy. And it's also in my shop now button so you click there say that you'd like to get paid to party you click that button and then you decide on what your business name is and put in all your information and then um i will be notified i will message you and let you know that you have 14 days to purchase your 350 pv once you purchase your 350 pv which again is your starter inventory that we talked about your start your sleeves about seven sleeves um once you purchase that then and you send me your screenshot that you placed your order then i will go ahead and i will reimburse you the 50 dollars. now you know the basics for joining ring bomb party what are your impressions what do you think do you think it's worth it do you think this is a viable how do you feel about the need to be active and have that 350 pv meaning you're going to need to buy six to seven of these ring bomb sleeves so that you can maintain your active status i mean i think she did a very nice job of explaining everything but i still have questions that's why you saw different little text pop up on the screen but i want to know your thoughts the ring bomb party website 
does not list anything about the founders of the company, who are Isabella Coleman and her sister Lillian Coleman. There is no contact information for the company on their website either. According to the Better Business Bureau, the company is based in Montgomery, Alabama. Currently, Ringbaum Party is seeking to fill two full-time positions. None of them are a designer, meaning you know, ring designer. These positions give those things called salary and benefits, unlike when you are a part of an MLM. The positions that are available are production shift supervisor, which pays 50 to 60K annually. And there's also a materials manager with a salary between 52K to 65K. According to the ring bomb policies and procedures, here are the requirements for you to join. You are adults. You can pause the video and you can read this yourself. I'm not going to read it to you because you're big people, right? This is another excerpt from their policies and procedures. You do not own your own business. You are an independent contractor when you join ring bomb parties. It states it right here, right here, independent contractor status. What's really funny to me is that I've worked in instructional design as an independent contractor, and I was never required to buy something so that I could be paid. Unlike when you join ring bomb parties, I agreed to be paid a certain amount hourly and I was paid for the hours that I worked plus the materials that I needed in order to perform the job, laptop, software and stuff like that. That was all supplied to me by the company. Unlike when you join ring bomb parties, you got to buy absolutely everything. It's very different to be an independent contractor like what I did in instructional design versus when you join an MLM. When you join an MLM like ring bomb, you are responsible for everything. They give you nothing other than the <coughs> opportunity. Their policies and procedures does state that you are not supposed to buy more than what you can reasonably sell. But what happens if to be active, you purchase enough to maintain the required personal volume, but you're not able to get people to buy as much as what you're buying? What happens if you end up sitting on these ring bombs because you know you're having parties, but no one's buying, in my opinion, that then becomes front loading because you're required to maintain a specific amount of volume each month, which means you need to make a purchase each month. The personal volume is related to buying these sleeves of ring bombs. Now, when we watch this very attractive, lovely lady, which I really wish she was not part of an MLM, she says that you need to buy about seven sleeves. And each of these sleeves has about five rings. So that means at a minimum, you need 35 rings to be considered active. This is the concept sold to you when you decide to join Ring Bomb, that you know, you're buying these at a 25% discount and then hoping someone else is going to buy them from you. Now, going into 2020, there were 1,052 Ring Bomb distributors. Not a lot, but you know, I, I'm just letting you know this. I refuse to use their word for what they call distributors because it's loaded language. And you know, okay, the word that they use is hostess and just oi, oi to the vey. On my uh, very first ring bomb party video, these distributors really just love being hateful and go on and on and on and on and yada yada about how I don't go over the right compensation plan, blah, 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 hello. If your compensation plan changed, that should be a red flag. I don't care how you slice that banana. The plan will depend on you purchasing stuff and then in turn you having these, you know, online parties because that is where they make the money is people buying their stuff. Unlike the map that I shared with you when I did the video on mascara, the reps here that joined Ring Bomb most of them aren't found in Utah, and I just, that just kind of gives me pause. I find that just interesting. I mean, I don't have anything really to say about it other than, huh, that's interesting. Now, I would think that the majority of people would be in Alabama since that's where they're based out of, but they're not. It does look like that most of the Ring Bombs representatives are in Pennsylvania, Florida, and Texas. And I don't know why. I kind of wonder, why, why is that? What, what are your thoughts? What do you think is going? Why are these states attracted to joining this 
particular MLM. Just really curious. Now they seem to be very proud of their Fast Start program. Now let me just say, $500 in three months, are you kidding me? And this is free product credit, not that you're actually earning $500. But is that something you should be doing a jig about? I mean, how many hours is it going to take to earn, you know, this product credit? How many parties are you going to host so that you earn $500 of product credit? To me, this really just seems like a way to get people in their first several months to keep on having these parties. And also think about this, you've got to get some new rings because you know you're going to, I guess, presumably go low or you might have to do some of these little fizzy things just to show people what's in there if nobody's buying anything. And if you have nothing to fizz, you need more stuff to fizz, you know? The bonus is related to you advancing in rank so that you can just earn this product credit. Now here are where the complaints start that I found on the Better Business Bureau. This company is an illusion. You think you're going to win an actually real ring, but you end up with a rhodium plated band with a ton of fake looking diamonds, white topaz, and the most gaudy looking fake jewelry. I can show pics of how awful this jewelry is. What a waste of money. The worst part is they say it's worth $136 and you're so excited and you get it home and laugh while the jewelry tarnished with one dishes and stones fall apart one by one. I've given these rings as gag gifts and they're loved until they fell apart or tarnished. One was supposedly worth $206 and the jeweler said, um, this is worth about 10 bucks. It's not even real rhodium. It's plated and these stones are fake and lab created. What a scam business. Now myself, I do have some lab created stones, but I never have gotten anything plated. I really prefer to get silver. That's just what I like. This is not the first time that I've heard about these rings turning people's fingers green. And there's plenty of that, you know, in the comments on my very first video, if you want to go check it out, if you haven't seen it. They say their rings are original and you will not see them anywhere else. But imagine my surprise when I found a few of them on Wish for a dollar. They are real pretty and shiny when you first get them, but it's not long before they are tarnished and dull before you realize just how cheap they are. I have the experience with two ring bombs I purchased. Both had a suggested retail price of over $250, LMAO. Reveal says this is what the suggested retail price is in their retail store, please tell us where this store is because I would really like to see someone actually purchase this cheap fake costume jewelry for what they suggest the price would be. You can get real sterling silver and gold for the price they suggest. They will tell you it's the pH level in your body that turns your Skype and green. I'm not sure what Skype and green means, but anyway, but it's just bad costume jewelry at its worst facts. Just saying, if jewelry is turning your skin green, um, I just kind of think there's a problem with the quality in my opinion. I mean, I am not a jeweler, obviously, you know, that's not my bag. That should not be happening, especially, you know, how Ring Bomb Party just loves to brag about the worth of their rings that you're paying $17 as, you know, a retail customer paying this $17 and you're going to get something so much more worth so much more than just the $17. Maybe just consider that you're paying $17 and no company could stay in business or no one would go in business. And, you know, the hostesses, oh, that, oh gosh, I used the word. Ah. I apologize the distributors. You know, they buy it for 25% less, you know, than the $17. So, I mean, no one's going to do that. No one's going to have rings that are worth $200 and let people buy them for like 13 bucks and then sell them for 17 bucks. You know, that makes absolutely no sense if you think you're just going to get this fabulous ring. It, it makes zero sense to me. 
Hi, whoever you are. We hate that you had a negative experience with our company and would be happy to speak with you directly regarding your experience and jewelry reveals. Would you please submit a support ticket regarding finding our custom designed jewelry pieces on other websites? We have designers that custom design each piece. And if another company is offering our products, our legal team would like to address that directly with them. We would love to get more information so that we can reach out to that company right away, especially if they are using our photos for knockoff products and jewelry that are designed copyrights. Our suggested retail prices reflect the price that Ring Bomb Party would retail each price at depending on the design, metal, gemstones, etc. If you would like to take a moment to submit a support ticket to address your concerns, our customer service team would be happy to speak with you to resolve your concerns. Thank you so much. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Okay, you know what? It really grinds my gears that there's not a customer support number to call. You got to send in a support ticket and then hope somebody is going to like respond to you. This whole thing to me, submitting one of those tickets is just a PIA. And it tells me they just don't want to pay for, you know, to have customer support, to have people on the phone, representatives that can like, you know, answer questions in real time. Just my opinion, my thoughts. Funny you keep mentioning your retail stores. May I have the address of your retail stores that display these rings at your suggested retail price? I am very curious to see the reviews of poorly made costume jewelry that you say retails for $100 to $1,000, especially whereas they are not made with precious metals of sterling, silver, or gold. You sell plated crap. I will not be bothered to submit a ticket as the jewelry I receive speaks for itself. No matter how many pretty patronizing words you spew, the bottom line is your jewelry is junk. I would find it hard to believe that I'm the only one that received junk. Your addicted shopaholics believe everything you say because it's part of their addiction. They make up about 75% of your sales. The other 25% would be first time buyers that have learned their lesson after the first purchase, such as myself. I'd be lying if I said you're the only one who sells this junk because there are many of you out there with the same junk quality and same responses just different names. I am writing this review to forewarn others, and I'm obviously not the only one with this opinion as most of the complaints are the same, but we are all wrong, and it's just a coincidence that we all receive the same junk, but don't worry. You'll make money off the dumb people that you take advantage of that believe your crap. People like that are a dime a dozen. People. <laughs> mm. Burn. That's pretty much how I think most people feel about ring bomb parties. What do you think? Tarnished ring after four days suggested retail price $200. I bought 50 rings with this excitation of revealing a high valued ring. When I receive it, it looked very good. After four days, ring tarnished, finger turning green. I see people all comment here and I am not alone, frustrated. I just have to say that if you think you can spend $17 and get a ring that's, you know, worth $200 that a jeweler is going to look at the ring going, oh yeah, you got a bargain. You only spent $17. Yeah, it's worth $200. I mean, okay, I just think you're nuts. I mean, I'm just going to say that. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be, you know, hateful. That's not my intent. I'm just trying to be very real. I mean, that's just not realistic to think that, you know. In my opinion, the company will not make any money selling a ring worth $200 for $17. That's just not economically viable, you know? Hi, I am no longer with Ring Bomb. We have tried contacting about getting a refund for BombCon tickets I purchased, which was four of them. I have bought four BombCon tickets, and I'm no longer with Ring Bomb and have yet to see a refund, but my mom has tried contacting you and nothing. Can you please contact us about refunding $800 worth in BombCon tickets? Even when I was a consultant, I sent tickets in for this and never heard anything. I'm going on two months and not hearing anything. I want a refund for all four of my BombCon tickets, please. Okay, I just got to say this. I'm just kind of... I, I think I need to take a shower now because the convention name BombCon, 
to me totally that's just so cringy it's like oh my gosh i can't believe that's what they call it bomb con oh yikes bought a ring from a gal online was told it's authentic black onyx valued at over 98 dollars after four days of wearing it it has turned orange and finger has turned blue and swollen when i asked the lady during her live party she said they are nickel free as i am allergic this company is scamming people with two dollar rings off wish.com making false claims of value and lying about the materials to try to make a quick buck wow this is the second reference to wish having the same rings now okay anyone out there do you use wish because i don't i mean if you use wish can you confirm this because i would just find all of that ever so interesting hi victoria are you sure your ring is stamped with ring bomb party on the inside of the band we can assure you that all of her jewelry products are custom designed by our brand at ring bomb party and manufactured by our company we do not buy wholesale jewelry from other companies and would appreciate you submitting an email with any evidence of another company selling a ring that looks identical to ours as this would be considered copyright infringement of our jewelry designs we would appreciate you sending information to us at support at ringbombparty.com to allow our legal team to look into that further all of our products are indeed lead and nickel free it sounds as if there may be a ph issue occurring with your skin which can be a common thing for certain individuals while you noted the suggested retail price of our product please note that this is a suggested retail price and depends on the style metal and details of the custom design we never claim that these are jeweler appraisals and we are happy to explain the difference for you in more detail if you would like to email our customer support to speak with us directly thank you so much okay can you ring bomb party can you give me the names of your jewelry designers because your website doesn't list any employees there is one person that is listed as an employee that i found on linkedin i'm thinking that if you had a reputable designer somewhere i would be able to easily find them there would be people on linkedin saying that they design for ring bomb parties but you know i can't find that makes me think that what they're saying is a bit skewed and possibly not the truth it just kind of smells to me i mean maybe it's just me what do you guys think if they really have designers they have to pay them a salary right and where does that money come from it certainly doesn't come from you know selling rings for 17 dollars that are worth 200 dollars you know a thousand dollars i mean all of this really honestly it just gives me a headache the rings are terribly cheap to turn that quickly i wear other rings and haven't spent over 50 dollars on any of them but have never had any turn color like this i will have the ring tested for nickel as i am guessing it will help prove what is happening with super cheaply made rings being passed off as custom made works of art fyi rhodium plating does not turn fingers green from oxidizing so it'll be fun to find out exactly what metal was used for the plating which like i said had worn through to the base metal within four days of light wear just wow they are false advertising don't waste your money and i bought several of these rings they turned mine and my mom's fingers green afterwards i had them looked at to find the actual value guy told me it was just costume jewelry and wasn't worth anything so these people are false advertising and selling fake rings just saying there really seems to be a pattern of a lot of unhappy people I have reached out to your customer support via a ticket guess what i have submitted four with no replies back which has been days i have screenshots where your company website states these rings are real in which they are not you're trying to hide behind your false advertising by saying it's your suggested retail price these rings are fake costume jewelry and i'm not happy i have contacted your so-called support page with no replies back for the matter mighty funny how i complain here and get a response quicker than all my support tickets i've submitted days ago if it's your so-called retail price then your page needs to address this and let customers know that they have no real value and our costume fake jewelry sorry but when your website states the jewelry is real honey that's false advertising in which again i have proof of 
We have found your support ticket. You submitted your ticket two days ago, and we responded the very next day. We have proof that this is the case and are happy to submit screenshots via Better Business Bureau. If you would like us to do so, we are happy we are able to respond so quickly and attend to your frustration of this matter. Please see the response we sent for your recollection below. I am saddened to hear that the rings you purchased with our company were not to your liking. However, our products are not falsely advertised and definitely are not costume jewelry. Most of our rings are double and sometimes triple plated with rhodium. Rhodium is an extremely durable, tarnished, resistant, hypoallergenic metal in the platinum family. Being that you have experienced your finger changing colors, my recommendation would be to follow the care tips attached to this ticket. Following these tips will aid your skin and pH balance to not react negatively to this precious metal. Lastly, concerning the pricing, Ring Bomb Parties advertises the worth of the rings revealed with a suggested retail price. This is simply an estimated amount of what the rings would sell for in store. Thank you for taking time to review my response. If there is anything else we can assist you with, please let us know. Thank you for reaching out. We wish you the best. Take care. But these rings are not sold in any store. I mean, hello. Even having this pricing thing about this suggestion, that's just weird. I mean, I'm just saying it's just weird. Yes, please do send screenshots. I'm not lying. I also have dates and so-called screenshots. So don't threaten me with you have screenshots and are trying to call me a liar because I promise you, unless you can change the dates to what you want them to be, I submitted my first ticket June 29th in which you didn't respond to until after I made complaint to Better Business Bureau. I made complaint to Better Business Bureau on June 30th in which you replied immediately back on here but waited until yesterday, July 1st to respond to my ticket. Looks like the only way to get a response back is through here. Your website states you should get a response back within 24 hours. So from June 29th until July 1st is way over 24 hours. And that's after I reported you here. You did not reply the next day as you stated. Also, I had the rings appraised in which the man just looked at them, which has experience in pricing jewelry, said it was costume jewelry. I'm sure he knows his medals and what a ring would retail for in a store. These are prices you and your company have threw on the rings in which are false and isn't worth it. All I'm saying is if you want to sell cheap rings, fine, but you need to take down the fact that you're telling people they are real and worth up to $1,000 on your website. There is way too many comments complaining over the same stuff for this not to be true, including how bad your customer service is. Have a great day. Okay, again, selling rings that are like worth $1,000 for Seventeen dollars. I mean, actually, the the ring bomb party gals they get them for less than that, like twelve seventy five. You know, because twenty five percent off, whatever doesn't matter, because it still makes the the same case that no one is going to sell a ring for that amount that's worth one hundred, two hundred, a thousand dollars because they're not going to be able to make money from that doing it. You know, that makes no sense. This this is driving me absolutely nuts. I mean, just my suggestion is avoid making a purchase from ring bomb parties. Very upset with customer service and also rings turned my finger green. A hostess slandered my name and didn't even know me. After 100 purchases, I have decided to sell my rings. They are only worth what you pay, not suggest retail price. Okay, let me just get this straight. You bought 100 rings and now you're going to try to sell them. Okay, who would wear 100 rings in a lifetime? I mean, you spent like $1,700 on these ring bombs. Why? Why would you do that? And just, wow, shaking my head. I I, uh, I don't know what to say to this. This just, you know, it takes a lot to take words away from me, but I have none. I just, I'm just, wow. Don't waste your money. They are very cheap and will turn your finger green. Not to mention, they are nowhere near what they are buying them for. 20 cents for a cheap ring. Just go spend $40 at Walmart and get one that will last. I have a ring on that was bought at Walmart five years ago and still looks brand new. Honestly, 
you can get a really nice ring for 40 bucks from many, many different places. Now imagine that gal that spent $1,700 on 100 ring bombs. I mean, Lord have mercy. I mean, imagine what she could have gotten if she would have taken that $1,700 and put it towards, you know, real jewelry, like, you know, silver jewelry, you know, something other than rhodium plated ring bomb rings, you know? One of the new consultants continues to say the rings are valued at a certain amount, when in fact it is a suggested retail price, not a value. These rings are costume jewelry at best. One star is too many. You know, do you guys see a pattern here how people are saying they're costume jewelry, they're cheap, they're not worth it? I mean, I just see a lot of dissatisfaction and those that are going to give it, you know, glorious reviews, they're probably the Huns, because that's what Huns do. I'm just saying. Now, the fact that someone is selling ring bombs on eBay, and I think there's more than one person doing this, to me, that just really speaks volumes. I mean, oh my gosh. I take it that they had problems doing the parties and getting people to, you know, buy in. So now they're just like trying to get rid of these things because you know they had to probably keep buying to keep that pv up because you have to have pv so that you can get paid blah 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 oh gosh what a headache and good gravy marie i found this at the beginning of the year there were about you know a little bit over a thousand distributors and this group has 554 members i mean i guess some of them might be people that actually buy these ring bombs for whatever reason which i'm really not sure as to why you would keep buying these but the fact there's 554 members to me that kind of you know that says something that there's a group that you know you got multiples got the wrong size don't like your ring you're in the right place i mean imagine imagine the shit show going on in that group i just can't and this is a collection of some ring bombs that you know a distributor posted somewhere i don't remember where i found this but you know when i look at this the rings just don't look all that special to me they don't look like anything that's like wow this is so unusual and so gorgeous and so this and so that it just they just don't now i'm just going to make a suggestion here go to aliexpress you can get something similar for a lot less and you know what at least with AliExpress, you know what you're getting into. You know what I mean? So that, that's my suggestion for you. Now, let me know your thoughts about this ring bomb party business in the comments. I mean, I just find the whole thing so weird. Now, I get that, you know, people are needing to be connected to other people right now with what's going on in the world, you know? And being part of these parties, it can make you feel like you're part of something, but that's exactly the emotions that MLMs play on. Wanting, you wanting to be part, to be in a community. You wanting to feel like you're part of something bigger. That's exactly part of the, the lure, you know? Where do you think these people get their rings? I mean, do you think there's actually designers on staff? And how much do you think they pay for these rings? You know, I mean, do you think they're getting them from AliExpress? Do you think they're getting them from somewhere else? I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. So make sure you, you know, slap a like or a thumbs down, whatever makes you happy, you know. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I also have my other channel, which is Alanda Unscripted. Over there, I kind of do some rants and reviews about things. And, you know, it's just coming together. I don't have many subscribers over there. It's really, it's, it's a way for me to kind of just let go. Because really, doing all this stuff on MLMs, things it just it can be very heavy and sometimes i just need something to be lighter so i do that even doing the true crime i mean that's very heavy too and i don't do youtube full time i mean unlike some people think that any youtuber you know is a content creator that's your full time job it's not i've got a full time job i do this because it's a hobby so you know there's that until next time remember you're beautiful and i love you